Hello MechWarriors, how is it going and welcome to another episode of MechWarrior 5 Mercenaries. We are playing Merc Tech again. Let's go guys. This game is heavily modded, so um, you will probably see some other things if you're the first time you are here that you would normally see, but this is all the fun here. Let's go ahead and take some harassers home. We actually get a pretty good 150mm cannon out of that. Ooh, look at that tier 4. That's good, man. It's an AC-20. 14 tons. Alright. It has a two-round hopper, so we can double tap. And we have 5.5 DPS. All right. All right, that's pretty good. That's that's all right, I guess. Damage per round is six. Wait, is it only a two? It says hopper size two rounds. Hopper reload rate, 50. I think I'm going to try this thing out, and I already have the perfect mech for that. Guys, this is going to be interesting. I really wanted to make my charger a melee, not melee, but, you know, a close-range brawler. I think we can do that now. So let's take a look at this thing. This guy here. We have two ballistic, two energy, three missiles, and I think it's going to be an AC-20 plus, 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 plus. Probably one LRM, two SRM, and two medium poles or something. I think this is a thing that the charger can run. Let's test it out. But before we can do that... We need to gather some money, we need to gather some extra equipment, and... Oh wait, uh, I can do an ICT here. But I don't need to do an ICT, do I? There's a mission here that I kind of want to play, but not with the max here. So yeah, that's... That's actually... Actually cue this. There we go. This is fine. Just repairing everything right now so that we can play some more missions. And uh, then we're gonna skip planet to uh, another one that I've already figured out, where we get some high challenge uh, missions. But this one here still has one and for that reason wait what system map ah i have to get into the duel like this now ah there was an update obviously interesting so yeah we will be playing an 8v8 duel it's a rather low tier it's 35 only but uh i, I think we can just get some great stuff out of this here hopefully with some money on top of that Sadly, there are no airstrikes available. All right. We are down to 230 tons, so we cannot bring the big bad boys. We're going to fall back to something that we have not played in a while. Something like a Jägermech, for example. Something like the Thunderbolt, possibly. We may maybe get the Rifleman online. As well as the... Uh, Blackjack? No, 235. <laughs> That's not good. Um, hmm, weird. What, what, what are we doing now, guys? Actually, we might start... We might just drop with three people. This is alright. Okay, ready up. We wait six days. Everybody will be healthy again. And yeah, we're gonna go in into that 8v8 with seven. But you know what? I think it's fine. I think this is perfectly fine. So, let's get some money out of this mission here before we go to another planet and have some fun there. And I think the best mech that we can play is our Marauder. Let's go. Do not believe there will be any big opposing forces. Two dropships coming down. Wait. One dropship coming down here. These are our friends. Oh god, let's get out of here. <laughs> let's not get flattened by the dropship. It's a thing that doesn't happen here. But in uh, Battletech the game it does. Wait. You bring a Banshee? And a Griffin? And a Jagermech? And a Phoenix Hawk? That's more than 230, right? Wait. Wait, Banshee 95, Phoenix 45? So 140? Jagermech and Griffin is a total of 110. So yeah, you definitely bring more than 230 tons. But that's okay. So, uh, Friendly Lance is supporting me, that's very nice. And we have two opposing forces that we have to deal with. I want to try to make use of my large lasers. So I think I want to chill here until these guys are coming. I might also come over the hill here. Mm. <laughs> or do we engage them in direct combat? Mech versus mech. Man versus man. And woman. I don't see anybody. I guess we gotta move then. It might be that they have no idea that we are here and are not engaging as a result. I don't know. So, let's see if we can find opposing forces and shred them to pieces. 
It's kind of nice to bring the lower tier max. I mean, they're not really lower tier. They are actually just lower weight compared to our assault max that we got. There he is. Okay, first target acquired. We have some missile support coming from the Thunderbolt. And we have this, obviously. Bam, ba bam. So the large lasers are already doing some work. We have our auto cannon. I'm just tickling this guy right now. 450 meters is what we need. But he will come closer and we're gonna build that firing line here. No problem. Not a problem at all. Okay, let's actually take the arm out. Uh, and I'm sorry for the muzzle flash, guys. I really am. It's just the thing that we have here. Um, I want to take your arm, buddy. If the arm is gone, the Phoenix Hawk is gone. It's usually a rule. So we got that. Now he should punch out because he has no weapons anymore. Nothing. Oh man, and this mech is actually getting quite hot. The thing is, you can always... Actually, let, let me go to third person. I think this is a bit easier. A bit easier to, to watch here for you guys. Um... Yeah, what I wanted to say is the mech is still pretty hot, and I think I need to rebuild it at some point. You guys are shooting this? There's a rifleman coming as well, that's good to know. Uh, I'm gonna go with this. Just wanna get him down now. And I also wanna get this guy down, so my friends are actually shooting something reasonable. There we go, we got him. Uh, next up is probably the Vindicator. Actually, it is the Jager mech. Okay. 600 meters, I shouldn't have shot my medium lasers. Uh, by the way, from this perspective, you can really see the spread of our gun. Look at the bullets. Look at them. Wait a second. Now. Can you see how the, the tracer... They are, they are just, just going all over the place there. Okay. Uh, back to cockpit. So I can actually see a bit better. Yagamek is about to fall, so that is good. Our Yag... Our Yagamek as well. Thank you, but no thank you. I'm gonna bring that guy back. What are you thinking? Alright, 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 alright. I mean, we are fine-ish. Ish. We are still getting attacked big time. I need to go back here. This is so important. It's an 8v8 duel, and our friends are not really the guys, like, our AI friends. The ones that we're dropping with us are not the guys getting attacked. Holy crap, Baroni. Right, can, can, you, can you do things? Team, please? This is a cluster of things. No, I don't like it. Right, I want to say fall back here. Yes, yes, yes. Get out of there. Now. Move it. I'm gonna attract some fire. Possibly getting this guy down here. Doesn't need much anymore. And I think we got him. So, are we out of the heat here? I think we are. We don't have much to destroy anymore. Maybe a headshot is good here. Trying. Trying my best. It's not enough. The question is, do I need to go back to the Marauder? Or is the Marauder fine? Took a good chunk of damage already. Uh-huh. Looking good. Good. The Whitworth, or whatever that is, is gonna be next. Yeah, it's a Whitworth. Center torso. Best hit, I believe. Yeah, we're gonna take some damage here. Oh no. I'm out of here again. I will pull back from this, trying to shield with my right side, so my left arm is gonna stay. I want to keep that ultra auto cannon. It is important to me. Okay, now back to the Marauder. Holy crap. That was closer than needed. We almost lost things. But hey, that's what you get when you only drop three mechs, huh? Oh boy. So yeah, we did some things. We also have to repair some things, but I think it was a net positive that we got here. We got two million seabills. That should definitely cover the repairs, and we're gonna go home with some extra goodies. So let's take a look at what was on the battlefield. 
That's interesting. And by the way, I know a bunch of people, by the way, suggested a mod where I can actually pay with my own sea bills to uh, get some extra salvage and to pad it out if needed. But I want to actually play it like that. You know, just negotiating the salvage points and then getting what I can get. For example, another Jäger mech, huh? Hmm. I mean, it's a very good value ratio here. Value to pick ratio. I think this is what we do. We take both the Hunchback and the Jäger mech as well as some jump jets and then we're gonna go home. Probably selling these things. And it's it's funny, it says we have a total damage of 100,000 sea bills if we get 3 mil out of this. I don't believe in the 100. Anyway, here we go. X marks the spot. I also want to play some of these priority missions, ideally. Hmm, that would be nice. Anyway, again, some battlefield repairs. Containers are full. 10 days. It's alright. It doesn't really cost that much. I feel like this used to be way higher. Alright. I mean, I'm not against it, I guess. Maybe I am. Another thing that I want to do is drop the jack and get some of these goodies in here that are running, uh, yes, XL engines and double heatsink. I want to take them apart and then sell them later. So we're going to strip the mech. There we go. Also the engine, also the cooling, also the gyro. This is like super cheap now. Why? Honestly, I, I disagree here. I completely disagree. We are in a war zone and I'm completely stripping my mech. It should cost more. Honestly, I liked the economy as it was. This feels like it's getting too easy now. I'm not happy. Not really. Uh, Loader King, go down here. And we also got a... What was it? I was looking at it early. Oh, the Cicada. The Cicada 3M. Having the same thing here. A good XL engine that we want to get down. As well as the cooling. The rest can... Actually? Do we want to rebuild this? This is tier 2. Ultra 5. Why not? Why not do it? The other things... I should probably drop them as well to just scrap them. To get some spare materials. I, again, I don't believe in the money here. I really liked it the way it was before. It actually put up a challenge. Oh, not cool. Alright, so this is what you get when you have the Steam, um, the Steam version of the mods. They will update automatically and sometimes there's things happening. <sighs> Alright, so, campaign mission or directly down to here? No, not this war zone. It's 95, it's too much. This is good here. 66 as well as an assassination 78. I think I want to do that. Let's go. We're gonna get our biggies back and uh, probably have enough firepower to get these missions done. Hmm. <laughs> Again, I'm I'm not happy. I really actually liked it more when the game forced you to think about your finances. This makes it, I think, a little bit too easy here. I mean, realistically, we just got three million seabills out of this mission. We should be forced to reinvest them. But maybe the, the economy is different somewhere else now. Maybe mechs are expensive now. Let me take a look at this. If we want to buy a pretty crappy assassin, we have to invest 3 mil. The Vulcan is 5. Nah, I don't know. I have the feeling these weapons also didn't really grow in, um, in cost. We have some clan stuff here for sale. Some machine guns. That's fun. What's that? CAC what? CAC 10? Caseless ammo. Ah, I see. Interesting. Yeah, but I don't want any of this. I want to play some missions now. Let's go ahead and take a look at the mechs. They look great. So that's cool. Um, yes, there's one more thing that we need to do uh, before we can jump in. I need to check the roles of each and every single mech here. I mean, this is supposed to be a sniper. Why was he running into that fight so much? See, when I say, attack my target, I don't expect my people are like, Yes, I'm running and I'm gonna punch him in the face. I'm like, okay, I'm gonna position myself based on my role and I will focus down that guy. So I was actually expecting the Jäger mech moving backwards 
like a little bit and then shooting into the fight, which didn't happen, but okay. Superior detonation. Yeah, that's that's okay, cool. So uh, he has the, the sniper role, technically. All right, what, what about this guy? He should be missile boat. It is missile boat. Okay, the marauder mm, should also be sniper. He is sniper. Okay, cool. The cyclops should be missile boat. It's missile boat. Okay, so I'm quickly checking all of these guys. Also, we are heavily under tonnage. <laughs> this guy could ser seriously need some more stuff. You should be sniper. It's brawler. I think I want to make him sniper with the PPCs and the large pulse. Yeah, let's give him that. Oh. Alright, start work. Thank you very much. Um, the Banshee is running the Gauss and a bunch of ear mediums. Should also be a sniper, which we have. Great. The Rifleman should be anti-air. Sniper. Nah, I'm gonna give it the anti-air roll. There we go. Start the work. Thank you very much. And what else do we have? Uh, the Wolverine should be a skirmisher. It is. Very good. Um, we have taken a look at the Banshee already. The Rifleman. The Battlemaster. Yes, what are we doing? This is a brawler, right? This guy needs to be a brawler. Except everything is where it should be. And then we have this uh, Charger 1A5. Oh, which just got repaired. I just realized. It's also a missile boat, funnily enough. It says Juggernaut right now. Not really. Not really. Where's missile boat? There we go. Alright, we got a missile boat now. Damn. Cool. So, now that we have that straight, what are we doing now? I think we're gonna play the mission. Let's go ahead, take a look at uh, system map. Take a look at targeted kill or a war zone early. I think we're gonna go with the war zone. Let's have some fun blasting things apart randomly. And obviously we're gonna take the big bad boys. I want... I think I want to play my energy charger. That thing is fun as hell. Um, We're gonna bring some fire support. I need to check my cyclops. Something's wrong there. Uh, Gauss rifle is good. I think I want the battle master having some brawl potential. Is it the Jaeger or is it the Marauder? Ah, uh, I see. We are over tonnage already. Maybe it's not the Banshee. Maybe it's not the Battlemaster. T-Bolt it is. Yeah. Th that looks good. That looks very good. Alright, so in terms of pilots, you are pretty good with energy and ballistic. Oh. We should uh, get Hooker on the, the Thunderbolt. I think she already has some affinities to that thing as well. And Hoffman with the Ballistic and Energy affinities. Definitely on the Marauder. Yeah, she, she's alright here. And that's negative 10% on the Banshee. But it's fine. That is perfectly fine. I think we're gonna play it like that. We have 315 out of 315 tons. And we are set for destruction. Let's go, guys. Yeah, I like this phase of the game right now, where we just gather some materials, gather some money, and then next time we will probably take a look at an industrial app. Or maybe we're gonna do it at the end of this uh, episode. We'll see. I'm gonna still get some more clan tech and slap it on my max. What were we missing on the Cyclops? I literally forgot. Alright, here we go. Yeah, that thing. Oh, the heat is on. We see a Demolisher, we see a Scorpion, and we also see a Vindicator. Alright, the Demolisher needs to go quickly. I'm gonna see if I can shoot him. My BPCs. I think I hit something. Not sure what it was. Um, what, 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 what I want to hit here? There we go. Minimal damage on the lasers. Yet. Alright, we got that guy. What about this? Yeah, you go there. Um, there's another Scorp... I don't know if the Scorpion is still here. Maybe it's got destroyed already. It did get destroyed already. Cool. Leg down. 
Tank down. Ooh, this is beautiful. So, Vindy, you have a serious leg problem there. Let's go ahead and take you down. And we did take him. All right. So, into the base we go, and then we're going to see what we can uh, destroy. Enemies will come from every direction. And we are quite high on... Uh, on the rating, on the difficulty rating. So maybe we will find some more assault max in this place through here. All right, here we go. What do we see? I can already hear the ballistic sounds of the of the shells around me coming from the helicopters. Cataphract, nice. And then something over here. Yeah, man, our helicopter is gonna go down. We also just got a commando. Oh god, and a stinger. That's not good, man. That's not good. Frack is getting fracked, though. Ah, it was just arm. I wanted to hit the same spot. What are you? Why are you? Stop existing. Thank you. <laughs> mm, again, arm. I mean, we can just stay here and take that thing apart. Right, that's the side also down. Mm, and I should also probably preserve some heat for later. When the next wave comes in. Maybe I just quickly deal with him. Yeah, that's a way to cool. Having no target in front of you. Forced to do nothing. So... What's the PPC range, by the way? We have 690 meters optimal range, so... Maximum range is 1.5 times that. He's behind the hill, I cannot really hit him yet. He's kind of busy as well. You know what? Really? Okay. I wanted to say we're gonna turn around. But I guess we are going in, taking that guy quickly, and then turn around later. We got him. So, behind us, guys. 3 out of 13. These Midworths are very common lately. Ow. And very dangerous. They hurt me and my feelings. But they only have two LRM-10s and they're gone. Leg. I wanted to hit center, but I didn't. There we go. Alright, next up is the Vindicator. These guys have some leg problems, I heard, huh? So we're gonna make him um, cry out in pain. Shooting an arrow to the knee. Commander. It would be so cool if we had... Do we have arrows Leg here? I don't know. Do we? Hmm. Actually went between the legs. There's a dropship coming down. Man, we need to pull. Huh? There we go. Chain fire for the win. Uh, oh god, this Marauder needs to go quickly, very quickly. Let's go for headshots, maybe? I hit him! Oh my god, crazy. On the cockpit. Try again, ah, never mind. I want to preserve my heat. I don't think that the Wolverine is a good target. Unless I am at zero heat, then I can just shoot him. Because I have nothing else to shoot anyway. But I want to stay on the Marrow. Okay, Scorp is coming. Target. Yeah, please focus. Okay, here we go. Cockpit. Mm, not quite. And I know there is arm lock, but it's kind of messing with my weapon groups. You stopped moving! I was leading my shot so nicely. Come on. Face! No. Mm-hmm. Not quite there. Boom. Clean kill. Clean kill! That's a headshot. That's a full marauder. Oh, nice. And then the light mix. Sure. We have those PPCs for a reason, right? And that reason is being hot. Mm -mm. Not good. Stay here, Jenner. Laser weapons are colder than the PPCs. They provide better DPS. I should probably refrain from shooting the peeps right now. So let's turn around and get some laser beams on target. Cool. It works. Our Marauder took some heavy damage. 
kind of weird. On the Wolfie, I really don't want to go for headshots because the chance of missing is quite high because the cockpit is above shoulders. So even uh, if I go a little bit too high, it's hitting nothing. That's it. And this is what I was talking earlier. The sounds of the ballistic shells flying around. Got him. There they are. Mm -hmm. ah. Take him down. 11 out of 13. This is what I'm talking about. We actually see a Zoltmax stomping on the battle freaking field. We're gonna take the Zeus first. Also try headshot. Yeah, center. Actually, maybe I should go for the Master of Battles. Try headshot there. You know, I think it's easier. It has a bigger cockpit. Uh huh. We need to get a bit closer. Hey, dude. Where's your face? I wanna hit it. There we go. That's a battle master. And at the same time, we got the Zeus. Man, this is good. Let's get out of here, guys. Let's get out of here. We have all the salvage that we need. We don't need to stick around for any longer. So, yeah, around the hill and far, far away we go. And we will never come back to this planet, probably. That was cool. Got a bunch of headshots out. Hmm. I was wondering, should I go for a quad PPC build to be a bit more reliable when it comes to headshotting? So if I hit, I hit in one blow. But it would actually be a little bit too hot, I believe. Mm, Victor? Nah, I'm not gonna stay. I don't really care about Victors. Big status report here. This is Spice. I've got a new contact. Yeah, you got a new contact, I know. But I don't want to stick around for any longer. I'm done here. We have everything we want. And there will be, will be probably a good amount of pay anyway. Target You're being flanked. Alright. I'm gonna tell the people to engage just to not turn their backs against them. That's it. It's just turning around so that they are not getting destroyed from behind. Let's get out of here. And I think they even got the stinger down. Cool! That worked! That worked like a charm! And there's another mission that we can play right away. We didn't really take so much damage. It's a bit of battlefield, battlefield repairs that we are doing here. And then um, we are diving into the next one, which is, I think, an assassination and a 78 rated one as well. I, I think. We'll see. Okay, so the payout is quite minimal. We can take that Battlemaster with us. Comes with double heat sinks. The weapons in it are not the greatest, but still. This is a no-brainer, right? This is just such a good value. Even if I don't use it. 24 picks for 8 million C builds. Hell yeah, let's go. That's really good. Uh, and then we have three more. Huh. Hmm, what do we take? I think we're gonna take some LRMs. <laughs> because you cannot have enough of those. Great. And again, the damage is quite minimal here. It's just a bit of superficial armor repair that we have to do. Perfect. And we destroy Jenners, which means we're gonna get Zippos. That I think these are Flamers, correct? Probably, yeah. Alright. This is working. I'm pretty happy with today's episode so far. Alright, so we're gonna do ICT. This is expensive, actually. Alright. But it doesn't cost us any time, which is good. Alrighty then. So, the cicada is already stripped, so we can sell it here. It's another 3 mil. We are getting space rich. Look at this. It's amazing. Now, maybe I should have just put the cicada back to storage in case I need to pick one up and then... Get it, uh, get rid of it, uh, due to a cantina mission. Yeah, we don't have cicadas right now. Should have kept it, but it doesn't matter. I can buy it back for a ridiculous amount of money. And it's video game logic, right? L let me see. I could buy it back for the same amount. Oh. But I think two mil... That's three million sea builds. Come on. I wouldn't turn in three million sea builds to just finish a cantina mission, right? Nah, never. 
Never. Let's go play the next map. Targeted kill, 78. It's a pretty small map, that's good. In the Mega City. Also nice, also nice, also nice. I think I need my headshotter. Because this. <laughs> that's ridiculous. So many salvage shares. Do we even have enough enemies on the board to justify what we got here? On a small map like that? Hmm? I'm taking it anyway. So, we can upgrade one of the mechs to something bigger, better. But I think it's fine. Actually, the Cyclops would be better. But it's currently slightly under tonnage and doesn't have enough ammunition. And that's because we are lacking dead fire, right? Yeah. We are lacking dead fire ammo. What are we doing with this boy? Do we take it anyway? I think yes, we'll do it. Cool. I know our people are a little bit exhausted from the last mission, but it's gonna be alright. It's not gonna be that big of a deal. Mm, it's fine. As long as I'm not exhausted. So let's go. Recon so 78 means that we will facility. actually fight a good chunk of assault max here, correct? Yeah, two bases, let's that go. Is as good as ours. Let us go, guys. By the way, it would also be cool to... Um, I mean, you can switch between the, uh, the lower right, the, the weapon loadout. Um, it would be cool if you could set a default, because I like this one here more than the other one. And I always have to press F9, which swaps between the two at the beginning of a match. So, we're gonna go for the 800 meters one. And maybe we, we find some acquisition here. Maybe we find some extra salvage. I have a visual on the target. Take them out. Already? Contact. Enemy. Yeah, alright. Follow me, guys. In file formation, sir. Oh, the legs. Oh, God. Ooh, what's going on here? There's an atlas. There is a freaking atlas. atlas. Um, I mean, we have a pretty good amount of salvage. I think I'm gonna try to stand and shoot this. The left eye, correct? Left eye that you have to aim for? Oh boy. Friends, help! I can't aim because of the leg! Oh my god. The frames are going down like crazy. I don't know why. But I think it's important to just take the atlas down now. Alright. Wait, this is it? We can go home now? Uh. Oh god. I'm really trying to aim things here. Oh, this is not easy. This is not easy if you have no frames. Oh god. Yeah. What's wrong here? Why? Is it the mega city? Is it... I don't know. The dragon needs to go. It's wrecking my marauder. I know, we are horribly overheating. But this guy needed to get down. What's he doing? Come on, wake up. Oh god, oh god. No, 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 no. Give me my marauder. There it is. Okay. Ah! No! Need to left side shield. Left side shield. I'm out of here. I'm not shooting anything. I really hope my friends are attracting some more fire. Uh, leave me alone! I can't maneuver, by the way. Because I'm stuck on something. So I just want to manually save my lasers. We lost the large laser already. Ah, screw you! I'm going out. I'm gonna get out of here. You gotta be kidding me, huh? Yeah, um, sometimes AI is like, you know what, I'm gonna brawl with my enemies because it's a good idea with a long-range guy. And then, I mean, sure, we, we just got into a pretty big pickle here because of uh, very hard engagements, but... You can make decisions, AI. You can. I believe in you. Okay, we lost the laser. Not a big deal. Mm -hmm. So far, so good. I mean, on the upside, our cooling is great now. Oh, man. I'm, I'm really sorry, by the way, for the laggy crap that the mission is right now. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. 
So, we can shoot this Phoenix. We can try at the very least. There we go. Man, I was really contemplating if I should get a new graphics card. I'm still running my 1080 Ti. And now that the graphics card are on the fall again, in terms of prices, I was really contemplating a bigger one now. Okay. Yeah, let's not lose the other laser as well. There's no need for it. But at the same time, we gotta think about our, our salvage. There's nothing on the board. And it's not worth it. Twist. Nope. Go away. Don't hit me. Where are my friends, by the way? Yeah, we are losing the laser as well. But you know what? It actually directs us into rebuilding the mech. Sometimes it's nice to do something something new. We still have the laser. Our friends are doing nothing. There we go. We got the hawk. Uh, and again, left side shielding, left side shielding, left side shielding. And we have cover. Ah, uh, yeah, see the charger. Uh, come on, charger. Ah, oh, it's the marauder. Okay. At this point, yeah, maybe I shouldn't have given up here. But it, it's fine. Again, I, I don't mind. We gotta rebuild the, mar the Marauder. No problem. Can you please attack, guys? It would be so nice. Thank you. This was huge firepower missing in this fight. Not doing anything because of AI decisions. I'm complaining, I know. I shouldn't. I shouldn't. Alright, let's go in. And then again, the Maro is now standing there doing nothing as well. <laughs> go away! Crazy. But hey, we got him. Wait, there's another guy? Who's that? I'm Spice. That takes care of him. Alright. I think we're gonna go home now. Let's run. <laughs> oh boy, what a mission. Yeah, we lost an arm. But not a leg. And that's good. We also have an atlas. I mean, it's there. I don't know if we can salvage it, but we destroyed it. So I think it's only fair if we're gonna get it and bring it home, huh? I make a cra crazy build out of it, ideally. Ooh, so. Gotta do some repairs, huh? Let's go home. Messy fight. But that's what you get when you bring long range stuff to a fight in a city, I guess. Yeah, the Cyclops was not really the right choice here. But anyway. Again, we have the opportunity to make the mech that we just lost an arm on better. I think the Ultra Auto Cannons are still the right choice. Maybe we make it a bit more brawly with medium pulse lasers or so. <laughs> we'll see. No Atlas. No Atlas, you say. Hmm. Crappity crap crap. So I guess I'll take mech parts, the engine, and... everything else. Literally. Starting with LRMs, obviously. And then some SRMs. Five million in value. I mean, again, the money is there, but we lost pretty good lasers. Not really pleased about that, but okay, again. Sometimes. Sometimes. Cool. Now, star map. Where do we go? We will probably come back and play these priority missions at some point. There is bulk ammo for sale. It's nice. There's also bulk ammo for sale. This guy has a rating of 93. Pretty high output. Moderate development. Tech rating is high. This guy here is 84. Good output, moderate. Yeah, I mean, it's pretty clear that we are going to scat. There we go. Let's go. So, we got money. Uh, we just lost money. That's another million C-bills off of our balance. But, 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 we got a bunch of mechs in our storage that we can just get rid of if we want to. No problem there. There's a lot of value in cold storage. We just need to tap into it. And at some point, we probably should make a spring clean happen. So I'm going for a bulk ammo here, because I also want to get some more dead fire. This is Hawk. Yep, Garvin, huh? Negative quirks? Oh, what? Thunder here. Ice is here. This is Hawk. Wait. This is Thunder. Why do you have this negative quirks? Here, How does that work? 
Ooh, I have the feeling some of the mods are not working properly, or is this what they come with now? Maybe this is just it. Cicada, Kintaro, Wasp here. Let me take a look at equipment. Medium laser, diverse optics. Okay. Star Flash. Tier 4. Pretty cheap as well. There's a Gauss rifle. Alright, so what do we need? I always want 115 APDS, which is not on sale. Ooh. I need 80mm ammo, and I need LRM Deadfire ammo. This is our biggest ammo consumption right now. So let's check that out. We have 200. No, not what I'm looking for. I'm also checking out the engines, but there's nothing like a clan engine yet. Not yet. We still have enough Gauss ammo, I think. I mean, we can stock up on a bit more, but, you know, this is fine. Uh, 380XL, 50 mil is not what we want. We need 80. APDS, there we go. Excellent. What else? Deadfire ammo. AMS ammo. We have 71,000 shots. It's fine. A saw cannon, case, coolant fluid. Double heatsink. Yes, thank you. Gorgas. The Gorgas machine cannon. Whatever that is. Okay. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Hatchets, heat banks. I need heat bank too. Also important. Uh, we have the fluid guns that we never used. We should probably take them and put them into a mech. Mm hmm. LRM dead fire. There we go. I'm buying everything here. Since I want to rebuild my Cyclops just a little bit. We could also go Artemis, possibly. Swarm ammo is also quite interesting. Hmm. SRM Inferno, Supercharger, Stumper. Alright. So, let's get into building things. How many Phoenix Hawks do we have? We have a bunch of them, so I can sell this here right away. For another 2 million. That's great, guys. That's really cool. So, funnily enough, we got a crit on the Clan XL engine that we got here. For some reason. The Cyclops needs a rebuild. We want... Um, ba -ba -ba -ba, we want to build more Deadfire ammo into this build. I think I want to make it half-half. Because Deadfire actually deals quite a good chunk of damage. And it is our main way to operate the mech, probably. Also doesn't have a minimum range. Does it? Does it say somewhere? No. It says fuel time 3 seconds, though. Oh. So it won't instantly um, explode. You need 3 seconds. Wait. No, wait. 3 seconds is the fuel time. So it's it flies 3 seconds and then it stops uh, accelerating and just falls afterwards. That's it. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, I think that fire instantly attacks, right? I hope so. So, we got 4 tons of ammo and 4 tons of dead fire ammo, that's good. This is way better than before. And, as I was saying, the last few tons should be Heat Banks Mark II, honestly. But we don't have them, so... For the moment... I'm not doing anything. I can put singles in the mech. Absolutely! Why not? Alright, drop a bit of leg armor, drop a bit of center. Actually, we should keep the center armor as uh, high as possible. We're just gonna drop some leg armor down to 71. That's still pretty good. Yeah, that makes a lot of sense now. I like it. I do like it. Pretty good. And I do believe I also want to play this thing again. Uh, also, what about upgrades on that bad boy? It doesn't have anything right now, so we're gonna give it internal... Internal structure. There we go. Ballistic range? No. This is all ballistic and energy. We need missile stuff. Target lock retention and lock on time? Hell yeah. Sensor range? Hell yeah. Let's go. Alright, we're gonna start the work here. Definitely worth it on the Cyclops. So, what else do we have? The Banshee is fine. Absolutely fine where it is right now. Don't need to rebuild this. Um. Yeah, man, the Charger. I was saying I wanted to test my AC-20 that I got. And maybe it's still true. Maybe it's still true. What are we doing with the Marauder?
We lost a bunch of heat sinks, which is nasty. Uh, uh huh, uh huh, uh huh. Also, I think we can actually get rid of one bin of APDS ammo. That last fight was quite quick, but even longer fights would also probably just take two bins. Probably. So, we have to repair rearm. And I'm doing it. I'm actually doing it. Huh. Now. Now, now what? Now now where? Now what are we doing? We got we got a heat bank mark 2 here. That's pretty good. Oh, I like it. Um, I mean, we can refurbish that laser. I actually have another one. I actually have another one. Like, they are only tier 2, but would still work. These clan lasers are fine. Is it gonna be a regular large? Because these ER larges are actually taking a lot of heat. Or I can go down the PPC path on a Marauder. I mean, maybe one peep? Is that it? Like this. And then another ER medium. Man, as much as I like PPCs, I should probably pair them so that we have some impact. Maybe even uh, quadruple them so we can uh, pinpoint headshot. So what would the mech be then? Two Ultra Auto Cannon 5s alone are not enough. Not really. And the thing is, we got these medium pulse lasers. Tier 1. They are quite good in terms of DPS. Mm -hmm. Does it stay somewhere? Damage per second is 1.4. What's the damage per second on the ER larges? 1.8, it's slightly better, but at the same time, it will generate way more heat. It should also be show the heat per second, by the way, so you can compare. I like the ER Lodges, honestly, for some early damage, though. Kind of makes sense on this mech. So that's how we do it, we're gonna bring it back. Get some doubles in here. And another double in here, and I think we are good to go, huh? This is it. We're just gonna fix it. Not make it better or anything. Actually made it a little bit worse, I believe. Thanks to the fact that we are uh, missing a tear in the lasers, but that's it. And then we have the charger. Oh my god. I mean, we just rebuild it so that we have it on the battlefield. But I think we can actually make something happen here. So, let me quickly check this out. Currently, it's filled with LRMs and standard ammo and dead fire and all the good stuff here. But I think I actually want to make this that AC-20 carrier. Alright, so the doubles need to go somewhere. Ooh, ooh. Is this even possible? That's interesting. That is a burst fire? Oh yeah, because we can shoot twice. This here is a 180mm, 185mm, dealing 9.3 damage per round, whereas this one deals 6.6, .6, but it can shoot twice. Ah! Ah! What's the optimal range here? 297? 310! I like it. You know what? Oh, we're gonna take that thing to the battlefield today. Okay. So, what are our support weapons? I think it might be the 20 Delta. Actually, we have a 15 Doombud. 15 is probably better where we are going. Wait, 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 wait. I want to have two SRM6s. There we go. Maybe we can afford a 20. Weight wise, that is. I see a problem. The problem being, we actually have too much weight and too little room left. That is crap. We don't even have ammo, you see? We don't even have ammo. Alright, so what do we have here? I'm gonna put... Let's mark it. Nope. I mean, it's good to have some ammo here. Two bins. That's right. And then, um... 
Not Artemis, but regular ammo for LRM. Let me see. Standard full turn. One might be enough. And then probably one turn of SRM ammo as well. Oh god. Where are we going with this? Standard full. I cannot fiddle with half tons here. So 150mm doesn't work. Doesn't rearm. Why? I thought we got ammo. Pretty sure we had ammo. Wait a sec. I'm gonna buy some then. Wait, does it work now? Rearm? There we go. Alright, we got it. And I, th I think I should probably stock up on it completely. Uh, stand on half. Don't really care about flak, that's fine. That's it. So, now we have some kind of ammo here. We are running a 270 Clan XL. In order to make the mech good, we need to make it fast. So, a supercharger has to be in the mech. Alright, we got that thing going. Now, how do we get the guy cold? I don't think we're gonna get the guy cold. Another bin of ammo in the cockpit, by the way. Um... I don't see it, guys. I think I have to drop Endo, but it'll take us forever. And is this gonna be enough? We get a speed boost of 40%. We're running what? 54 kph? A speed boost of 50%. Uh, so, uh, 75 kph. It's not bad for a charger. This is not bad. Clan engine is actually quite helpful here. Hmm. Or do we just keep the charger as is? I don't know. This is so tough, guys. This is so tough. If I wanted to drop endo and I want to go, like, standard structure again... Oh, God. It will cost us, like, a fortune. It's just time, actually. Why is it so cheap? It shouldn't be cheap. I hate it. I hate that it's cheap. But, yeah, with that we are able to put some doubles in the mech. There we go. And then singles to pad it out. Or maybe some more ammo. I don't know. Man, this is tough. This is really tough. Do I want to invest the time? And I mean, it's only time. Slow, very tough units that prefer close combat. Yes, thank you. I think I want to try. I mean, this is a new type of play. And we'll also take away the clan double heat sinks. I think I need them somewhere else. This guy is perfectly fine where it is right now with what we have. Alright. That's gonna be the build. We're gonna try it out. It's like, again, super cheap. It just takes time. Which is, again, ridiculous. So, let's take it. <laughs> we have a brawler, guys. I'm very much uh, looking forward to take this guy out to the battlefield. But I think, looking at the time, that's gonna be part of the next episode. So, I hope you enjoyed this one, guys. If you did, as always, don't forget to leave a rating, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. If you want to support the channel, you can become a channel member. Uh, there's a little button beneath the video stage, you can check that out. And I hope to see you guys next time. Goodbye.